welcome back to another episode of the Harbor Kids Variety Hour. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I'd like one pepperoni party pizza and another cheese party pizza and make that cheese Excuse with... Excuse you? Sorry, one moment. What is it, Bruce? What are you doing? Just ordering some pizza for myself. Oh, did you want me to get some for you? No, Hans, I, I want you to stop interrupting the show. Okay, one second. Uh, yes, that will be all for the order. And uh, don't forget to back out of the door, haha. Uh, okay, thanks, bye. Now back to the show at hand. Uh, we'll start off, as always, with sing-alongs with Bruce and Friends. Okay, guys, you can come on out. Okay, the first song we're going to sing is Deep and Wide. Hans? children. convention kicks off today. With more on this story, here's our reporter, Dizzy. Thank you, Reggie. As you said, the Baptist Casserole Convention is about to begin. Hundreds have gathered to showcase and taste test the largest selection of casseroles in the country. If it can fit in a 9 by 13 dish, You'll find a casserole for it here. Oh, it appears they are opening the door. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, boy, I think he's actually hurt there. Boy, I hope he's okay. Anyways, our last story. This past Thursday, the well-known Harborville Circus Troupe suffered an accident while street performing. The famous performers were attempting their human pyramid act when it collapsed and toppled down. EMTs were called to the scene where they found the street performers in a pile on the pavement. Thankfully, no serious injuries were sustained. Stay tuned for more on this story of renowned downtown clowns found in a mound on the ground. Thank you, I'm Reggie, and this has been the news. Those who 
who live in glass houses shouldn't have bought the house in the first place. Dying is money. Oh, how true that is. A picture is worth a thousand words and 1300 words in Canada. Today's Bible word of the day. Today's word is faithful. Oh, yeah, I know that. It's the geyser, right? No, it's not the geyser. <laughs> no, you're, you're thinking of old faithful. Oh, so we're talking about young faithful today. That must be a small geyser. <laughs> no, this has nothing to do with geysers. I'm talking about the word faithful. Being faithful means being loyal and dependable, no matter what happens. Okay, so let's okay. act this out. I'll act out the big geyser, and you act out the small geyser. Would you stop with the geysers? No, I will be faithful in acting out a geyser. Uh, well, I, I guess that, that kind of works. We got back to the show. When Abraham was old, he called on to the eldest servant of the house that ruled over all he had and said, Make a covenant with me that thou shalt not take a wife unto my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I dwell, but go unto my country and my kindred and take a wife unto my son Isaac. So Abraham's servant took camels and many presents and went on a long journey. At last he came to the city of Haran, where the family of Nahor, the brother of Abraham, was living. At the well, just outside the city, the servant stopped and prayed, asking the Lord to send him the right woman for Isaac. He prayed that the right woman would be the one who would give him a drink from the well and give the camels a drink too. As the servant was praying, a beautiful young woman came to the well with her pitcher on her shoulder. As she drew the water and filled her pitcher, the servant came up, bowed to her, and said, Will you kindly give me a drink of water from your pitcher? She said, Drink, my lord, and held her pitcher for him to drink. Then she said, I will draw some water for your camels, too. She emptied her pitcher into the trough by the well and drew more water, until she had given a drink to all the camels. The servant looked at her and wondered if she might be the right woman for Isaac to marry, the one he had just prayed for. He asked her, Whose daughter are you? Tell me, I pray, is there room in your father's house for us to lodge in? The beautiful young woman said, My name is Rebecca, and my father is Bethuel, the son of Nahor. You can come right to our house. We have room for you and a place and food for your camels. The servant then bowed his head and worshipped the Lord. He thanked God, for he saw that his prayer was answered. The servant followed Rebecca to her home and told her father the reason for his visit. Bethuel, Rebecca's father, said, This comes from the Lord. It is his will, and it is not for us to oppose it. Here is Rebecca. Take her and let her be the wife of your master's son, for the Lord has shown it to be his will. He asked Rebecca if she would go with Abraham's servant. She said, I will go. So the servant of Abraham went away and took with him Rebecca, with good wishes and blessings and prayers from all in her father's house. After a long journey, they came to the place where Abraham and Isaac were living. When Isaac saw Rebekah, he loved her. 
she became his wife, and they were faithful to each other as long as they both lived. Well, that about does it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you. What? Thank you. Hans, I thought you said you were only ordering for yourself. That's right, just for me. You've got a problem. Well, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.